All right, got a package arrived today from Agena Astro, and this is Ascar SQA55 telescope, astrograph quality telescope. Do this unboxing. Let's see what we got here. Looking forward to this. I've been using a Canon 300 millimeter lens, L lens, F4, very high quality, no compromise really, except that the focusing is not the same obviously as a proper telescope, but I've done well with a batting off mask. With this telescope, I intend to attach a, let me see if I have it over here. I'm going to attach a, a ZWO electronic autofocuser. All right, so there is the, uh, there's the box there. Let's open this up, take a look. That's a nice case, nice hard case. Came with it, ass car. SQA fifty five. Roger. It's got a little heft to it. Okay, there we go. Nice, very well crafted. Excellent. Of course, there are a lot of YouTube videos. I won't have to do all the review stuff, but there is a, uh, you can rotate. Of course, it has a rotator to rotate, of course, the camera to get your proper angle you want for framing. Of course, it has a dual coarse and fine focus adjustments here and of course the hot shoe not hot shoe that's a that's a camera i'm a camera guy too but there's the the uh, place to mount uh, devices such as asi air or guide camera and so forth a couple of accessory points those are hot shoe size points it looks like yeah or cold shoe i should say of course, there's a the dovetail. I'm going to add a longer one. I like to configure my uh, these kind of scopes with a long dovetail. And I put my guide camera in a, and guide scope on the end of the dovetail. I put a picture up showing that. Here's the uh, lens cap. And there's a the lens shade. Nice metal lens, lens shade. There's also a blue steel as well as uh, uh, of course a shade to block extraneous light very solid i like this nice silver color i like that my canon l lens is white which is uh looks good with my um zwo am3 gear so this silver and red will work well together i bought the accessory kit that's designed for uh, this telescope and it would fit right here and then of course it has a, a belt to, to drive the coarse focuser but again that kit's not here much anxious to get it because it's going to be clear on Thursday night but very cold 16 degrees and so I like to get this thing out and go outside and do my polar alignment 
and then go inside and do the focusing and everything else from in the house. But I can use a batten off mask. I can do it the old fashioned way, find focus, the batten off mask, and go indoors from there. But when you change filters, I got a filter wheel, and sometimes when I change filters, I like to refocus because the thickness glass of the filter sometimes is different. So it's good to refocus. Also, temperature changes, things like that. So it's good to refocus every now and then. So, so this EAF makes it much easier to keep that focus spot on. All right, so there it is. I look forward to, um, to getting into it. Happy to have it. So look forward to using this beautiful telescope and capturing some images Thursday night. And I hope to post those this week.